foods that curb appetite naturally, the seven most common hunger busters. Hi, I'm Cherie King, wellness advocate and owner of Get Healthy Clean and Lean.info. And the reason that I titled this Foods That Curb Appetite Naturally, the seven most common hunger busters is because upon doing my research, I discovered that some listed foods that others did not and vice versa. But there were some that were very common among each of them or at least most of them. So let's get right into the seven most common foods that curb appetite naturally. Okay, so the first food is green leafy vegetables. Now leafy greens such as kale, collards, or chard and other greens like that are very fibrous and said to help keep you full. Some say it's due in part to the sac-like membranes called thycoloids, although others tend to feel that those membranes don't have any bearing on the appetite whatsoever. But whether or not the thycoloid membranes are responsible for the decrease in appetite, you simply can't go wrong eating leafy greens because they're so nutritious for your body. And if you don't like greens cooked, then you can try them other ways, such as using the leaves as wraps. Okay, now collards, uh, collard greens are very, very good for that. I've done that before because they're big, you know, for the most part. And um, you just kind of have to, you know, maybe massage them a little bit um, to kind of make them a little more malleable. But they're really, really great for um, rolling up different fillings, you know, your filling of choice and making wraps out of them, low carb if, you, if you're into that. Or you can blend them with fruit in order to make green smoothies. Now, collard greens are a little strong in smoothies. Um, if you're not accustomed to drinking green smoothies, you might want to start out with something more mild like spinach or parsley even, um, although parsley can be an acquired taste when it comes to smoothies. But um, spinach is pretty much uh, kind of, of mild and neutral, you know, when you have enough fruit added to it. Um, and kale, a lot of people use kale in their smoothies. But um, if you go to my blog at gethealthycleanandlean.info, actually I'll have the link uh, below this video to the actual blog post, okay, about this topic we're talking about today, um, you know, these red areas are actually links, so you can actually click on those links and uh, it'll take you to recipes for green smoothies and for one of my favorite things to make, which are kale chips. Okay, I also have a recipe for that as well. So kale chips are really good to make. They're crispy. You can make them, you know, different flavors or whatnot, and it's a really, really good way to get the greens in, okay? All right, the second food is black seed okay now these little seeds are a great source of fiber and omega-3 fatty acids making them great to help you feel full longer now here's a tip you want to have your flax seeds ground up for the most part because they're that way they're going to be broken down for much easier digestion okay and they're going to release those beneficial oils the beneficial flaxseed oil However, you don't want to buy them pre-ground, okay? They do sell them, you know, already ground up. You don't want to buy that. Buy them whole and then take them home and grind them yourself because as the ground flax seed sits on the shelf in the store, the longer they sit, you don't really know how fresh they are. The oils can also become rancid and volatile. So again, purchase them whole and then you can use a coffee grinder or any other kind of grinder or even your blender and grind them up yourself. And then once you grind them, store them in the refrigerator in order to keep them fresh longer. And you can use this ground flaxseed in smoothies, you can use it in baked goods, uh, sprinkle it on your oatmeal and a lot of things like that. Okay, the third food, avocado. Avocados are a great source of healthy fats and omega-3s, as well as high in fiber, all of which help with curbing the appetite by making you feel fuller. Now, here's another tip. 
I realized that many folks simply love avocado, but sadly, I do not. And if you're anything like me, um, you don't really care for it either. But when I was a raw fooder, I was introduced to a really delicious way to eat it. It's really sneaky, okay? And that was chocolate pudding, okay? And again, that's a link. So if you go to my blog post, then you can actually click the link to get the recipe for that pudding. So if you're anything like me and you don't care much for this fruit, did you know that avocado is considered a non-sweet fruit? Yeah, it is. Then that's one way that you may enjoy eating it. Don't knock it till you try it. I know you're probably like, ugh, yuck, avocado pudding. Yeah, it, it's really good actually. Okay, number four, pickles. Believe it or not, pickles seem to be one of the top choices of appetite suppressant foods mainly due to the fact that they are low in calories, yet they help you feel and stay full. Now, one thing that was commonly recommended by all sources was to try and get them organic or at least natural as opposed to the conventional brands that may have added ingredients, okay? All right, food item number five, apples. Apples are another choice of appetite suppressant due to a couple of reasons. All right, now, one is that the pectin in apples helps to regulate blood sugar levels, which in turn helps you with hunger and cravings. And then second, apples are high in fiber, and that helps you feel and stay full as well. All right, six, oats. Oatmeal is a high source of soluble fiber that digests slowly, okay, and therefore it keeps you feeling full longer. And if you don't particularly care for oatmeal as in made as a hot cereal, there are a ton of other things that you can do with this, such as making muffins, you can blend it into shakes and different things like that. All right, and finally, number seven, spices. Certain studies have indicated that spices such as cayenne pepper, ginger, cloves, and cinnamon can help decrease the appetite as well as reduce cravings. All right, now we have some runners up. As I said before, there were other foods listed, but I named the top commonly listed ones. Now there were others that came close, but just weren't as common or popular as the, the top seven that I, I named. But I wanted to give these runners up a shout out as well. Okay, so the first one is dark chocolate. The deep rich flavor of dark chocolate is said to help you feel satiated and a component of the chocolate, which is steric acid, is said to aid in slowing down the digestion process, which causes your stomach to feel full. Now, I realize that dark chocolate can be bitter, and if it's too bitter for your personal taste, one source suggests having it with a cup of black coffee, and that's supposed to help bring out the sweetness of the chocolate. Now, I haven't tried this as of yet myself, so I can't vouch for that, but hey, try it out, you never know. All right, now another one are nuts. More specifically, almonds were close in the running due to the fact that they are a great source of healthy fat and fiber. Nuts were also said to be slow to digest, which is also a high point for helping to keep you feeling full. All right, now another one was dairy, okay? Now, none of the sources just vaguely left it at dairy, but I kind of did that myself because it was a toss up between Greek yogurt, skim milk, or whey protein. And speaking of protein, if you happen to be one who doesn't really care to consume dairy all that much, I'm almost certain that a non-dairy protein powder or even meal replacement shake would do the trick just as well. And I actually um, drink a non-dairy meal replacement shake, so you can check that out by clicking on the link below. All right, then there's water. Now, did your mom ever tell you to wait until you finished your dinner before you drank anything because if you drank too much before or while you were eating that you wouldn't eat all of your food? Well, if so, she was definitely onto something. Now, while not a food item per se, water was another highly touted appetite suppressant in the food category because when it's drank at the onsite of hunger, water can definitely curb your voracious appetite and if nothing else, cause you to eat less than you probably would have if you hadn't drank it. All right, now, 
I wanted to throw something in here. There's an appetite suppressant that I personally use and have success with that also isn't a food per se, but rather it's a delicious beverage that contains many of the previously mentioned foods such as greens, flax, and cinnamon amongst a whole host of other beneficial ingredients. Plus, this beverage helps with the reduction of cravings and it supports your metabolism. So you can click the link below to find out more about that. All right, now a few other thoughts on foods that curb appetite. Now what you wanna do is to identify exactly when you need appetite suppression. I mean, is it prior to eating a meal in order to avoid overeating in one sitting? Or is it between meals in order to avoid excessive eating? Or is it during a certain time of day, you know, typically like evenings or late nights in order to avoid late night snacking? So whichever time or times of day you need it, that's when you want to incorporate the aforementioned foods. And I remember one guy making a statement that was pretty interesting. He basically said, and I'm paraphrasing here, the best appetite suppressant is food. Now, if you think that sounds redundant, what he meant was simply to eat when you're hungry and that the problem isn't that you're eating too much, but more so it's that you're eating too much of the wrong foods, such as highly processed, prepackaged junk foods or fast food even. So instead, replace those unhealthy items with healthier choices, such as the ones named as seven top choice foods that curb appetite. And there's one final tip that I'd like to share with you, and that is try coming up with creative ways to combine multiple foods that suppress appetite. For example, you could combine oats, dark chocolate, and that could be pieces, chips, or even cacao powder, then add some nuts and honey to give it sweetness and help bind it together, roll it up into balls, and store them in the refrigerator or the freezer and have them on deck for a healthy appetite suppressant sweet treat. Or perhaps you could have Greek yogurt with apples, cinnamon, honey, or some other natural sweetener, not refined white sugar, please, and lightly toasted flax seeds or oats or nuts. And in this case, you could even do whole flax seeds, okay? Just lightly toast them to kind of give them a little more crispness so you can actually chew them and you know break them down but the possibilities are endless so just be creative okay and think of ways that you can take you know two or more of the seven top appetite suppressant foods and combine them together some kind of way so that way you're kind of like you know doing double duty or triple even but all in all i hope that the information that you've just received on foods that curb appetite has been helpful to you so I want to thank you for watching and I ask that you would please like this video and share it with others. And you can get more great wellness tips at my blog, gethealthycleanandlean.info. Okay, so again, I'm Cherie King, your wellness advocate. Till next time, bye for now.